Let's make creamy tomato risotto with stracciatella cheese. This dish features silky tender grains of arborio rice studded with blistered cherry tomatoes and topped with lush stracciatella cheese and fresh basil leaves. This is the perfect way to make the most of tomato season and the waiting days of summer while looking forward to the coziness of fall. The first thing we're going to do is tackle all of our chopping, and I'm happy to report that there isn't that much to do. Start by crushing and peeling four cloves of garlic. Mince them up and set them aside. Next, peel three to four shallots and slice them into half moons. The original recipe calls for a yellow onion, but I was fresh out. If you're using an onion, give it a dice instead. Now let's set our stock up for success. Pour six cups of vegetable stock into a large pot. Add a Parmigiano-Reggiano grind and two bay leaves. Bring the stock to a boil and reduce to a simmer. Now let's get cooking. Risotto was all about building layers of flavor, so we're going to blister the cherry tomatoes in the same pan we're gonna cook the risotto in. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large deep skillet. Add a pound of cherry tomatoes. Leave the tomatoes undisturbed for two to three minutes, then shake the pan. Repeat. Your tomatoes are done when the skin splits and they start to ooze. We are not making a marinara, so take your tomatoes off of the heat before they start to lose their shape. Add your shallots and onion to the pan, along with a sprinkle of salt. Cook until just translucent. Add the garlic and saute for a minute more. Add one and a half cups of arborio rice, then let fry undisturbed. When it starts to crackle and emits a nutty aroma, your rice is nice and toasted. Stir in a tablespoon of tomato paste and a third of a cup of wine. You can use white, rosé, or red, whatever you have on hand. Add a little honey for balance and give everything a good stir. Now for the part everyone complains about, the stirring. Add two ladles full of the simmering stock to the risotto and stir until the stock is absorbed. Repeat until you run out of stock. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to stir risotto constantly. You can add a few ladles worth of stock and leave it to simmer with the rice. The risotto does require supervision, but you don't have to make maneuvering a spoon around the circumference of a pot over and over again your life's sole purpose. You can take a break. This isn't purgatory. Once the rice is rich, creamy, and a little al dente, add a quarter cup of cream because you're worth it. Reintroduce the tomatoes and stir until heated through. Take the risotto off of the heat and spoon it into bowls. Top with a good sized scoop of stracciatella cheese and some fresh basil. And there you go, creamy tomato risotto with stracciatella cheese. The best produce the summer has to offer, wrapped up in a cozy autumn friendly package. Thank you for following along. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. See you next time.